Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Mathematics and today we have a really great challenge and a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, we have 5 plus 23 times 5, so it's not that hard, we have only addition, only multiplication, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. And right now go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, we have three options A, B and C, so choose an option where do you think is a correct answer to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section, we will check our answers here in just 30 seconds, so it will be really interesting to check our school knowledge and to check our algebra skill. So first of all I want to start with this first interpretation because a lot of students solve this question like that. What do we have right here? We have 5, we have plus 23 and times 5. A lot of students say okay let's go from left to right, right here we have 5 plus 23 which is equal to 28 yeah and 28 times 5 right here because we still have times 5 which gives us uh, 140. So a lot of students solve this question like that, we have this option, this is option A, a lot of students say that 140 is a correct answer and let's go to the next to the next question. And right here I want you to understand that obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem because we can't solve our challenges randomly, it's really a bad thing in terms of math, we should know what is the correct order of operation because if we solve this question randomly we have completely different answer and it's really bad thing. First of all I want you to look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation and for example let's I want you to explain about this order of operation. So this order of operation works from that in a strict order from the top to the bottom. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So right here in this second interpretation, let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So what do we have? 5 plus 23 and times 5. Okay, let's solve this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation. First of all, let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge. What about parentheses? Do we have parentheses in our challenge? I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses and it's really great. What about exponents? Maybe two, maybe 5 square, 23 cube, for example, like powers in this in this uh, mo in this case. Yeah? We don't have any exponents, so we just we just skip this part. Okay, so we just skip this part. Next up, multiplication and division group. Let's scan where do we have maybe multiplication or division sign. Let's look at this. So right here we have addition. Yeah, right here we have multiplication. So we can easily see that we should multiply at first. Yes, yeah, so right here we have multiplication. So we need to multiply at first. And it's really great the moment because right before we multiply it as our second step. So before we add it at first and then we multiply it. And in this second interpretation we multiply it at first because multiplication is before addition. Right here we have addition and addition is all the time after multiplication. So we don't have division, we don't have subtraction. So if you look closely, in our question we have only multiplication and addition addition part. And as I told before, higher position means higher priority. So multiplication has the higher position than addition. So first step is multiplication and second step is addition. Okay, let's look at it. So right here we have 23 times 5, which gives us 115. So we have 5 plus we have 23 times 5 gives us 115 and as a result we have very basic addition right here because this is our second step we complete this multiplication part we complete this addition part so we have 100 and 120 and a lot of students confused about this 120 because they say we don't have this option right here we don't have this option so the correct answer is 140 but i want you to understand that in math this is really bad solution because we add it at first then we multiply it first which is really bad solution in terms of math because this is a great solution but with parentheses right here because the addition does not have like the higher priority than multiplication, okay? So addition is has the higher priority than multiplication when addition is inside parentheses. And parentheses has the highest priority, so it implies that doesn't matter whatever we have in these parentheses, we should do it at first. So parentheses, addition, multiplication, doesn't matter what do you have, then this mass operation is first step. So right here, addition at first, because addition is inside parentheses, so this is a great solution. So 5 plus 23, 28, and 140, this is a great solution, but with parentheses. In our case we don't have parentheses, so forget about this solution, this is really bad solution and forget about this order of operation, this is very bad to solve this challenge randomly. 
let's look at this solution. This is a correct solution according to PEMDAS order of operation because this is a great, uh, everyone, every calculator know about this order of operation. Every calculator solved this challenge according to PEMDAS, so you can easily check this answer, but don't use a regular calculator because, you know, sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in 5 plus 23 and some of those calculators gives you 28. Try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation and that calculator know, okay, I have multiplication, so I need to multiply 23 times 5. But don't use a regular calculator because I give 99% that your regular calculator solve this challenge like that. 5 plus 23 gives you 28 and you have absolutely wrong answer. So try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem. And the correct answer is 120. And if you look about option A is obviously not the same as 120. B is not the same. What about this option C? Everyone forget about this 5 factorial. This is a product from 1 to 5. So let's look at it. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times and times 5. So what do we have right here? 6 times 4, 24. 24 times 5, we have 120. So this 5 factorial, this is the same as 120. So we have right here, we have 120. So a correct answer to this challenge. This is option. Option C is a correct answer. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel with different uh, challenges with, with elements of pre-algebra concept basic math, so I hope you enjoyed. So thank you for your time, see you in the next videos, and have a great day.